Hello, this is Gio, and what we have here are two breaker boxes. One was the original old one that uh, the main power comes into this one, but there is a sub panel which is right here, and there's a sub panel breaker which is off currently right there. And today I want to install a new breaker um, into this breaker box, and what I'm going to install is just a 120 volt um, 15 amp breaker which is just like that. And so you can see what I have already in here. I have 15 amp, 20 amp, I have a, uh, a double 240, 15 amp, and then a 240, 30 amp. But this is just a simple 15 amp breaker. So looking closer into the box, you could see again, the power is off. If it wasn't off, or even though it's off, you want to be very careful because this is uh, what's going on in here is two lines of 120 volts each combined they're 240 and that can definitely kill you again I have the power off so I'm not as concerned but I'm still gonna treat it like the power is on so and if you're uncomfortable with electricity or uh, don't quite understand these directions please uh, get somebody else to do this work for you uh, this can kill you and so what we have here are two lines of a hundred and um, 20 volts each and it goes into uh, basically uh, these lugs right here and it distributes down here. These little terminals that you see here, one, two, three, four, this is what the breaker actually connects into on this end. The other end connects to the wire and so this is where it gets its power. Now each one of these, one of these lines here powers this one, this one, this one, every other one. Now, the other one does every other one, so it's this one's from the right, left, right, left, right, left, etc. And the reason they do this is for your 240 volt. Since they're not in phase, uh, the power is not in phase, if you hook one breaker into two of these, you will get the 240. And so that's why they do that either way. But it doesn't really matter for uh, the 120 volt, it doesn't really matter which uh, uh, one you connect into, it will work just as fine. So I went ahead and exposed the three wires, which is the black wire, uh, the power wire, the uh, white wire, which is the common or, um, or neutral roll wire, and then the grounding wire right here. And so these are the ones I want. Now the black wire actually connects directly to your breaker. The white wire goes to one of these terminals, and it's uh, generally easy to know where uh, the white terminal is. Uh, for newer panels, you actually have a white main line going to that, and you could also just look at your other breakers. Uh, are all the white wires going to one terminal? Sometimes it's two terminals in this case. If so, go ahead and connect it there. And your grounding wire has another set of terminals down here. Again, just look to see what your, your panel has. If all your breakers have their grounding wire going to one place, go ahead and connect to that one place. So that's the easy way. It's a little more difficult if you're dealing with a brand new panel. So we're just gonna kinda fit things around. Let's see, I'm, I kinda want it on this side. So I'm gonna be putting the uh, grounding down there. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably stick the not sure, let's see, I'll probably stick the white wire over here as well. So I'm just gonna see kind of the lengths I want. And you generally want longer wires than you need, just in case you need to move future panels or breakers around. So if you want to move this breaker over here, this breaker over there, uh, you have a little wire to deal with. So I think that's a good length for the white wire. I'm gonna connect it to that panel there, check the length, go ahead and cut that off, now the, now the grounding wire, again if, if your panel's hot you want to be especially careful when you do this, you don't want any of these wires touching other things or your hands touching other things. So there you go. And I'm going to just connect both the, the grounding wire and the white wire in place. 
So I'll just start with the ground wire. And it's just a matter of finding a empty terminal here. So that's a good spot there. And I kind of want to put it behind everything here. So you sort of carefully work it behind. Yeah, let me see here. And again, although the power is off, I'm very much treating it like it's not. So, just like that. And then, put it in the empty terminal here. And then tighten it. Secured. And then before you leave it, you kind of want to adjust it so it's all in kind of a nice spot. It's not touching any of the other terminals for the white wires or what have you. And everything looks good. Okay, next is the white wire. So we'll go ahead and strip off about a half an inch from the tip. Both about a half inch of wire. Just like that. And then same procedure. So I'm connecting it into that one. Find an empty terminal. Loosen it up. everything. Make sure that the wire is out of the way. And nothing's touching nothing. Okay, good. And then next, you want your black wire. So we're going to connect it just It'll be right about there is the breaker. Trim off. Trim again in about another half inch from the tip to expose the wire. And then again, looking at the breaker itself, you get the switch on off. You get a uh, end with a screw and the other end has the little uh, clamp, clamp that clamps on to the terminal there. And now you're going to connect this exposed end to the uh, screw. So first you loosen the screw, stick it in there, and tighten. Now some people do this when the breaker is actually in in its uh, position. I don't like to do that just because I don't like to work in the panel when I don't have to. Here I'm a little bit outside of it, especially when you're putting strength to things like tightening up something. You don't want to slip and hit something. And so there you have it. It's nice and tight. And the way you do it, install it, is you have this little hinge point here which connects to right there. 
Uh, it's just plastic. It just kind of hinges there and you push it in to the terminal. So again, you just sort of hook it up there and position uh, over the terminal and then kind of push down. You have to kind of push a little strength, but uh, you could push pretty well. Don't break the panel though, but and then just put your wire kind of out of the way. And there you have it. And so it should work now. I'll go ahead and test it. Turn on the main switch, turn on the breaker. It seems like it stays on, so I'll go ahead and test. And I hope this helped you out. It should work, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.